During the heat of the last months, people in our country are divided into those whose offices are equipped with air conditioning and those whose offices are not, or those who may not have an office. So now is the time to tell you about how an air condition appeared. Despite the fact that theoretical works on air flow control appeared in the early 19th century, it took almost a hundred years to create a device that could perform this task. And such a device was created in 1902 by an American inventor, Willis Carrier. It was designed also to maintain temperature and humidity in the printing house for high quality print, in other work as comfort, as one might think. For the first five years, air conditioning became widespread not only in the US, but also in Europe and even in Japan, where it was installed in, installed in a silk factory in 1907, and the first air conditioner appeared in a vehicle back in 1904 on the Brooklyn Hospital ship, where it could maintain a temperature of 21 degrees at 50% humidity regardless of the outside weather conditions. After industrial enterprises, businesses that are not related to industrial production began thinking about the installation of air conditioners and for which the comfortable atmosphere is as much important. There were theaters and cinemas that tried to return the viewers who would ignore these entertainment facilities in hot weather by installing air conditioning. The first air conditioners used as reagents such hazardous and corrosive gases as methyl chloride, propane and ammonia, and for this reason air conditioning compressors and condensers were taken out and not installed in premises. Nevertheless, shortly after their development, air conditioners also interested individuals who suffered from heat their villas and who were ready to pay for the comfort. By the way, Claude Wampler, one of the first users of air conditioners, became a lifelong sponsor of the Keris company. As a result, by the end of the 30s, air conditioners had become a novelty needed for work and rest in a hot climate, well known to everyone, though not much accessible yet.